we are going to start hydrotrophic nutrition although most of the plants have chlorophyll and thus they can manufacture their own food there are some plants which do not have chlorophyll like humans and other animals such plants depend on the food prepared by other green plants what is heterotrophic nutrition you must know that what are heterotrophs and uh, see so for this you need to know that organism that obtain their food from other organism like they depend on other organism are called heterotrophs and the process of obtaining food is called heterotrophic nutrition according to the mode of nutrition heterotrophic plants can be classified into the following types parasitic plants saprophytic plants symbiotic plants insectivorous plants or you can say carnivorous plants the parasitic plants the green plants from which the parasitic plants get food are called host the same case like parasitic plant gain food from the other plants so that's why they are called as horns plants can get their nutrition through historia that is a special roots of parasitic plants the parasitic plants suck the sap from the stems of the host using their special parasitic roots there are historia the historia penetrate into the host tissue and make connections with the con conducting elements of the host and draw nourishment here you will see this is the historium this one this historium penetrate into the host tissue when it's penetrate it's get nutrition from the host cell so this is the parasitic mode of nutrition example of parasitic plants like cascuta that is dodder or a bench that is broom ribs viscum that is mistle the first one is cascuta they have thin stems and leaves with scales cascuta wrap itself around the plant produces historia that penetrate vascular system of the host and gets nutrition and the important point is like how cascuta gets nutrition the yellow one is cascuta and this green one are the host so here you have here you have learned that historia penetrate vascular system of the host so it is penetrating into the into this it is just getting wrapped around the host cell here you can see the all host cell is just wrapped around it and penetrate its hysteria into the vascular system of the host that is in the green one and gets nutrition next one is the oral bench or the broom ribs broom ribs have broad leaves they lay chlorophyll appear above the ground only when they flower appear on the ground if they are really small or have some stems they will only appear on the ground when they have flower its root develop historium that connects to root of host like maybe there may be some potato and produce seeds that germinate into flower so here in the picture you can see here historium developed by the roots of the organ this historium connects to the host of the host cell that is a potato or maybe there was some tomato and produce some seeds if they produce some seeds these seeds will will germinate into a new flower and flower will appear above the ground this is how it's get nutrition through seeds one is viscum that is also known as mistletoe that is evergreen shrub that grows high up in the branches of all trees the pit nutrition by sending roots into the bark of the host like apple trees here in the picture you can see it is wrapped up in the yellow color on a apple or the host plant this one is the viscum this yellow plant viscum just send roots into the bark this yellow plant send roots into the bark of the host cell and suck nutrition from there so that is how the viscum or the or the mistletoe get their nutrition from the bark of the host
The second type of plant is the saprophytic plants. Plants that get their food from dead and decaying matter are called saprophytic plants. These plants depend on the dead and decaying matter. They are white in color and but their flowers are really colorful. These plants grow on rotting material and suck their nutrients using tiny hairs. So here you can see a mushroom. They just have tiny hairs in rotting areas. So these tiny hairs help them to get nutrition from the soil or you can say from other dead decaying matters. So that's so that's how saprophytic plants get their nutrition. Now you are able to explain that what are saprophytic plants and what are parasitic plants. In the next lecture, we will do the two remaining classification of plants like symbiotic plants and insectivorous plants, or you can say that they are carnivorous plants. So these both we will do in the next lecture. Thank you.